BT, it's time for the poll predictions. It's a favorite segment on the channel. Um, I absolutely love doing these. And another week goes by where we've gotten zero out of four bold predictions. I've got uh, Josh and uh, Taz's in front of me. Obviously not here. Josh, he needs a lift. Another week uh, where it was just seems not good enough, not bold enough for the boys. So he's got to he's got to do do one up. And having a little look see here, uh, I think I think he's done a pretty good job. If I have to say so myself. <clears throat> so these are Josh's words. What he says here, he said, "Bold prediction for me this week. I know I need a lift. It's a three parter, so strap yourself in." <laughs> <laughs> he's going to St Kilda versus Fremantle. His first point is St. Kilda to win by five plus goals. Point number two, Max King to kick seven plus, uh, which will beat his career best and equal the highest goal tally by anyone this season. And then the third point, the cherry on top, Max King will not kick a behind in the game, uh, which he's had the most behinds out of anyone in the AFL this year with 27 averaging almost two a game. Look, wow. I'll stand up for Josh here. I think that's that is bloody good from him. Yeah, that is a good one. Can we just? I'm sure he's had Max King in, King in like at least half a dozen of his bold predictions this season. He, he loves, loves that. Guy. He loves a Max King bold prediction. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, his that's last one he got it enough. horribly. Last last one he got horribly wrong. So yeah, that probably, was probably, probably get this one so. wrong as well. But look, this is big. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I'm with him. On St. Kilda, I think they're going to win this game pretty comfortably. But to kick at least seven and with no behinds, that, that's pretty that's pretty nuts. Against a Fremantle team, that's one of the best defences in the comp. So that's, yeah, we, we, can't, we can't give them shit on this one. Yeah. Even, even last week, the subscribers gave him a bit of shit in the comments. And I, I, he's not copping it this week. He, he's done well here. He has. We might even let him back on the show next week because of that. Yeah. Yeah, he might he might scrape in. <laughs> um, I'll go Taz's next. <clears throat> He's gone Collingwood game. Uh, Majacek and Ginevan to both kick five plus against the Roos. Uh, and Nick Dacos will back up his career high disposal week and go thirty five plus again. This is against North Melbourne, isn't it? Yeah. See that that brings it down. The, mm. bro- the boldness of it when you're playing against North, who've lost like 11 that. games in a row yep. by more than 40 points. So mm-hmm. five each. I don't... Yeah, my opinion, it's borderline. Dacos, mm. he, he's... I don't know the stat, but he's hit over 30 a few times this season. So obviously to hit 35 again, that's obviously a good effort. But with how our bold... If you compare this to Josh, it's just gone. Yeah, it's nowhere near bold enough. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, no, no, that's that's a fair point. That's a fair point. And yeah, like you said, anything against uh, North Melbourne, you've kind of got to blow up a little bit. Well, I did it last week, and I I, I was nowhere near. But yeah. yeah, it's borderline for me. We won't we won't give him too much shit because I think he just sort of came up with it on the spot. He's not feeling too well, but yeah, he's lucky. He's lucky. He needs to do a bit better yeah. next week. Yeah, that's right on. Uh, yeah, only, only because he's a bit under the weather that he's getting away with this one. Kazza, you heard it, mate. There's your warning. <laughs> and you will watch this. So, <laughs> All right, All right. BT, I'll go head. for it. Mine's, mine's pretty, pretty straightforward. Well, kind of. So the highest combined scores, so the highest scoring game total for this season is 230 points. That was round 14, GWS versus Bulldogs, 105 to 125. I'm going, that's going to get beaten this week. And I'm Hawthorne versus Adelaide at Marvel. It's going 250 plus total points. It's an old fashioned shootout. It's going to be both teams will kick at least, well, obviously to hit 250. So whoever loses is still going to kick over 115. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you picked that um, that fixture to to do it, um, given you know. I mean, I know it's sort of two sort of middle of the pack teams against each other, but yeah, they're not they're not 
known for kicking a lot of goals, especially this season. So I'm a, I think that that for me boosts it up. That's that's big. <laughs> so then, I mean, both got good forward lines is where with reasonable forward lines that can kick a high score. So Hawthorne's kicked over 120 a couple of times. So that's that's where it lands. And I just think it's kind of a irrelevant game mm. at Marvel where it's a quick ground. So I think it's just going to be an absolute shootout. That's what I'm hoping for. Then I'll get my bold prediction if it is. <laughs> so you're saying more than 250? More than 250 total. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I'll, um, yeah, all good, all good from my side of the desk. Um, not too sure what the boys would say, but I don't know if Tazza would agree given what we've just said about his, but <laughs> <laughs> he's not here, so he can't defend himself. So <laughs> Exactly, yeah. All right. All right, I'll close it off. Man. I'll close it off with this. Who knows what kind of reception this is going to get? Because I think this is just downright ridiculous, even for me. All right, I'm I'm going kind of the opposite. Yeah, um, from from what you've just done, I'm I'm going to the Geelong Melbourne game, and as I mentioned, picking Melbourne to win, and this is why. <clears throat> Jeremy Cameron has kicked a donut. Should I say hasn't kicked? Twice this season, no goals. Tom Hawkins has kicked a donut just once. Um, in in you know that they won that game. It was very relevant. Jeremy Cameron's two donuts. They lost both games against Melbourne this week at home. Neither of them will kick a goal. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. That's that's <laughs> if that if that comes through, even if one of us gets our bold prediction. For- you, you keep your spot, no matter what. <laughs> because that, if one, of, both of them go goalless. If yeah, that, if that happens, they, they're kicking like under 30 points for the game. If both of them go goalless. And, oh, well, that's clearly bold enough. That's like on the stupid end. That's a stupid prediction. That end, mm. far out. That, <laughs> yeah, you can't argue with the boldness of that. I mean, this is this is what I'm saying. You know, I had a I had a couple of shaky weeks there myself, where I tried to change it up a little bit. You know, early early days, I had a couple as well, which were just out there, just borderline mm-hmm. stupid. So yeah. we're we're revisiting that uh, that sort of mindset for the ball prediction again this week. So it's not going to happen. I'll <laughs> I'll just about bet my house on it. <laughs> but you redeemed uh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, heavily heavily redeemed myself. Yeah, that's just that's just stupid. There's no other way to put it. That's just a stupid prediction. <laughs> <laughs> we should uh, we should maybe we should rename the title of this uh, segment to to dumb and stupid predictions. <laughs> yeah, they scan to that point. We're not even close. I think we've been close maybe once or twice, and that's about throughout what well, round seventeen we're going into. Round seventeen. Surely yeah. we're gonna surely we're gonna get one, or at least one of the viewers. Well, subscribers are going to get them. So make sure you put your predictions in the comments. Just, it, it's a fun segment. It's by far our favorite to do. Mm. So keep putting yours in the comments. And if it's shit, we're going to tell you <laughs> if it needs to be stepped up. So, But if you get it, we'll give you props. Oh, absolutely. You'll definitely get a shout out because um, mm-hmm. it's deserved. You'd be the first and probably potentially the only person to get a bold prediction right this season. So you definitely deserve the recognition. Make sure you let us know as well. What your thoughts are on ours, you know. Uh, we've, we've, I think we've hit the nail on the head uh, this week, so we, we shouldn't receive too much shit in the comments. But <laughs> you never know. But um, yeah, that's that's going to see it for this episode. Cheers, BT, for joining us. Um, Tazza and Josh in spirit as well. Um, you know, make sure you're leaving comments in this in uh, down below. Let us know your thoughts on what we've spoken about. Drop a like on the video; it helps it a lot more. Then you may think subscribe if you're not. Make sure you turn on the notifications too, so you don't miss uh, miss a video. Um, and just one other thing as well that I will mention: we put out a trailer the other week of a uh, of a FIFA Fridays. It is still coming. It is still coming. Just working through a bit of uh, a few things at the moment, just trying to get the get the recording done for that. So do do stay tuned for that. But um, until next time, we'll see you later.